racing in Chicago at the Paramutuals all year, gearing up for today's Illinois State Fair Colt Stakes Eliminations. This place can be heartbreak trail. You can bring a horse here who looks to be a mortal lock, something can go wrong, and you find yourself going back home in a hurry. And for others, it works according to plan. Gunning for $500,000 in combined purses for next week's championship finals, we're about to meet our first qualifiers in race one, two-year-old Philly Trotters. Here they come. They're off and trotting, and Illinois State Fair harness racing is underway. Rockabye goes out for the early lead. GT's Defiance gets away in second. Easy G comes out third, and Jay Cheyenne is fourth out in the center of the racetrack, moving to the first turn. Problems for Red-Headed Cohead, who is off stride, and Red-Headed Cohead gets to the back of the field now, clear of trouble, as Jay Cheyenne leads it by two lengths and gets over toward the rail. Rockabye will travel in second by three. GT's Defiance is third by two. Easy Cheese is racing in the fourth position. Savannah Silk is fifth, eight lengths off the lead. 30 seconds for the opening quarter. A long way back to Fox Rocks, who has a lot of ground to make up, and red-headed co-ed is the trailer. They hit the back stretch, and Jay's Cheyenne with driver Jack James in the red, white, and blue colors leading it by a length. Rockabye right there in second for Dwight Banks. Three more lengths to GT's Defiance. Another two and a half to Easy Cheese. Two more to Savannah Silk. Fox Rocks is still far back, and they're halfway home chasing after Jay's Cheyenne. Red-headed co-ed is the very distant trailer. The half in a minute, one-fifth. At the entry to the far turn, the favorite, Savannah Silk, is still lingering. Ten lengths off the lead. Jay Cheyenne is the leader, moving around the turn by a length and a half. And Rockabye is still there in second. GT's Defiance, a closer third. Gap of four to Easy Cheese, who's struggling to keep up. Here comes Savannah Silk from the fifth position, and here comes Rockabye from the second spot. They're at the three quarters. They're being led by Jay Cheyenne. She was there in 131 and three fifths, and Jay Cheyenne leads Rockabye, and Rockabye started to make a move but dropped back, but here comes Savannah Silk, and that will be the big challenge. Eighth of a mile to come. Savannah Silk trying to track down Jay Cheyenne, who leads her by a length, but Savannah Silk is trotting strongly, blasting by the leader. Jay Cheyenne is second. GT's Defiance third. Easy Cheese is fourth. Rockabye didn't have it today. It's all Savannah Silk. The favorite, Savannah Silk, takes the opener for Dave McGee by some seven lengths. GT's Defiance was second. Easy Cheese came on for third. And Jay Cheyenne was fourth in 201 and four fifths. The official result. Silk is owned by Jack Hood and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, by Dennis and Kevin Lacomi's Mystical Marker Farms of Chicago Heights, Illinois. This filly is a two-year-old by Hoist the Yankee out of Lisa Lee by Brotherly Way, and Lisa Lee, the dam of this filly, was a winner at the Illinois State Fair herself as a two-year-old in the Isoba division. Tom Shin of Newton, Illinois, bred this Hoist the Yankee filly. Hoist the Yankee stands at the Paul Phillips Farm in downstate Charleston, Illinois. And moving into the winter circle, here is the winner of the first race of the Illinois State Fair for 2002, number seven, Savannah Silk, Dave McGee with the winning drive. Handshakes and congratulations all the way around. Irv Miller, the first to greet driver, Dave McGee. Irv, of course, trains this filly right here at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. Again, result is official. Return prices are being posted now on the infield board for the first race. The 7-1 Exacta, $82 even. Number one, GT's Defiance hit the board at 30 to one to complete that Exacta. Let's move into the winner's circle and see if we can grab a word with our winning driver, Dave McGee. Dave, how are you? Good to have you back at the Illinois State Fair. First of all, it's always good to start the week out with a win. How did the Philly feel, and how's the track today? The track is great. The Philly felt really good, and uh, everything's going great so far. 
You know, I don't know, Dave, if you even realize it or not, but we've been doing some research. We told the crowd when you were on your way to the starting gate, you've won more races than any driver in history. Now, that includes the greats like Joe O'Brien and Sepp Palin from a bygone era. You have over 150 wins on this racetrack. Any one in particular stand out in your mind? Well, uh, there's been a lot of them, really. Uh, the Mini-Me last year was a great race, uh, great effort. Uh, without reproach was a, a, an outstanding effort. Uh, there's been a lot of them. Without reproach, I think when you won with him here, that was a trainee who became the, the Illinois bred in history. One minute, 50 seconds flat, if I remember correctly, or somewhere in that neighborhood. Dave, it's always good Oh, you stay busy in Chicago. A native of Wisconsin, if we have any Wisconsin folks here today, that's where Dave is from originally. Dave, we do have some fellow Wisconsin residents. Dave, congratulations.